WA's firefighters will soon get workers' compensation if they develop cancer on the job. The announcement's been backed by a promise that frontline services won't be affected by budget cuts this bushfire season. Michael Bennett has more. Peace of mind for thousands of WA firefighters and their families. New legislation will ensure workers' compensation covers 12 cancers linked to scores of local cases. Six of our firefighters have died to cancer and we have over 30 in, uh, in remission, so uh, the, the, uh, the evidence is, uh, is very real. Albany firefighter Dean Simmons is battling leukaemia. He's welcomed the workers' comp cover, but says it's overdue. The situation is real and, and it's here now, and it would have helped myself and my family immensely. Though it's yet to be drafted, the legislation will contain some retrospective elements. If the government really had a will and was really committed to this, uh, it could have been passed this year. The laws come the same day as FISA boss Wayne Gregson was officially named Commissioner of the newly created Department of Fire and Emergency Services and the opening of the department's new $40 million Coburn headquarters. In terms of lines of communication, securing government resources from other agencies, um, it's not just symbolic, it's a very significant step. His minister shut down Mr Gregson's suggestion that frontline firefighting might be affected by budget cuts. There will be no impact on frontline service delivery. Troy Buswell's assurance that frontline services won't be affected is a swift turnaround from his new commissioner's own comments only two days ago. But it's hardly a surprise. If there's one thing the government doesn't want to be seen skimping on, it's fighting fires only weeks away from the bushfire season. Michael Bennett, 10 News.